Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to highlight an area or areas within your video or image clip. And so this is a fairly easy process, but by using this highlight effect, you really be able to help focus your viewers attention on where you want them to go. And so the first thing you want to do is bring down your video or image clip over to your project timeline. And then what you want to do is head over to your toolbox and go down here to effects and choose the adjustment clip. Now where you're going to place the adjustment clip is on the area of your video or image that you actually want to perform this highlight effect. So we're going to go ahead and drag this over here and I'm going to put it right here. Now you can do this directly on the clip itself, but I highly recommend you use an adjustment clip because you have more control over it. And at the same time, you could actually extend this, copy and paste it or move it around without affecting your original clip. So once you have your adjustment clip here and you have it in the area that you want, go ahead and highlight it and then head over to your color tab. So once you get to your color tab, you're going to see all these different options here, but the main part that we want to look at is down here. And what we want to choose is our window or in this case, our power windows. And here you're going to see a variety of options. You're going to have some default shapes. There's linear, which is basically a square circle polygon which you can adjust the size and shape of it and then curve where you could actually connect points and then there's also a gradient as well but we're going to start off with the simple one and that's just the linear or square so once you have it selected make sure you click on it and now you'll notice that there is a square which you can move around and at the same time you could also adjust the size as so and you can also adjust the feathering option as well. So there's a red bars right here. And so this will basically affect the area on where your softness or feathering effects uh, will actually occur. But in this case, we just primarily want to focus on the actual box size. And so now I have it on the area that I do want to uh, perform the focus on or the highlight. And in this case, it's actually performed a mask. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how this looks right now. So right now we have a mask around this area. But the thing is, the rest of the video we can't see. Okay, so that's really not what we want. And so what we want to do is make sure that this area is highlighted, but the rest of the video is going to be darker. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the actual color of the area around this linear or box right here so we could simply go down here to offset and just lower it and you'll notice that our box area is getting darker which isn't exactly what we want we actually want the area outside of this box out of this mass to actually be a darker color so all we have to do is go here and choose the invert tool and now the rest of the video or image outside of it is the one that is being adjusted, which is exactly what we want. And so now if I actually go back to the edit, and as we can see, when we get to the adjustment clip, this area outside of the box or the window is darker, and the area inside is lighter, which is where our mask is. And that's awesome. And then another thing you could do here is you could add a transition. So it can transition into this effect. So we play this now, transitions into it, and then it'll transition out. And as stated earlier, uh, by using the adjustment clip, you can also adjust the duration of this as well. So that's a very super easy way to actually add a highlight effect on your video or image clip. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So let me show you some other things. Say you wanted to highlight a multiple areas within your video. You can add different shapes. So I'm going to use this example. Here's a circle. I want to highlight this area right here. So in this case, you won't necessarily do the same thing you did before. You could choose the masking option right here. And now it's already performed the mask on the object. 
So we'll watch this again. Now we have two different areas that we highlighted. And you can do that multiple times. Let's say I wanted to use this polygon. So I could just adjust that. And I know it's going to look weird, but I just wanted to show you an example how you could actually highlight multiple areas. And if you want to add more of the same shapes, you could add another one. Let's add another square here. So we'll highlight over here. Not the best looking <laughs> squares, but you kind of get the point and so forth. And at the same time, you could also name these shapes as well. So you can keep things organized. And let's go ahead and back. can watch this again. See, we have multiple areas that have been highlighted. And this one, I forgot to select the masking right there. Okay, let's watch that again. And at the same time, uh, for each one of these different windows or shapes, you could actually change the softness as well. So the lower you go, the sharper the actual edges. So if you're watching now, that is a lot sharper. And let me show you how this looks like. So you can see as you actually increase the amount of softness, it has this uh, blurrier effect. So it's really up to you. But as you can see here, this is a very easy way for you to highlight certain areas of your videos. And then at the same time, when you combine it with an adjustment clip, it just makes it a lot easier for you to move this around. And then if for some reason you actually wanted to reset everything, you could go back here to your color and then you go up here to your node and right click on your mouse and reset node grade. So that's the easiest way for you to reset everything or you could just simply delete this adjustment clip. So that is it on how you would actually perform the highlight effect, which allows you to focus on certain area or areas of your video or image clips. And as you can see, it is a fairly easy process. And at the same time, you could get very complex with this. You could add keyframes, more effects, zooms. There's so many things that you could do here because the power windows allows you to do so many different things. So that is it for this particular tutorial. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tips and tutorials, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.